Okay, um, I am here today to tell you about the misconceptions of poison ivy and also to tell you how to um, help uh, alleviate poison ivy, uh, how to help it go away faster. And um, I'm going to do that in a series of a few quick clips here. So um, people are not all allergic in the same way to poison ivy. Some never get it. I never got it till I was like 21, now I'm 44. And every time you get it, it gets a little bit worse. Um, I was just not susceptible to it until I actually drove it into my legs with a weed whacker. Um, so it broke open the plant and then it actually drove it into my skin. It was a bad mess. Um, it takes four days for me to get it. So I got it on, oh, what was it? Monday night I started noticing it this time. So I count back and I'm like Thursday, okay, where was I? In the ditch or in the woods or um, out on the river where I know there's poison ivy. Um, so it takes four days for um, it to start showing symptoms on my body. The first day I'm always like, oh man, that's a bug bite that hurts, that itches, whatever. By the next day I'm like, oh no, this is going to be poison ivy. Okay, so if you're going to, uh, if you know you're in a place where there's poison ivy, you know you're allergic to it, um, you have about 10 minutes to get back to your place or any place and get it washed off before you're in trouble. Um, what I've done is I use um, dish soap. I like to use Dawn. Obviously, this is not Dawn because it's not blue. Um, this is just Ajax, um, but it's a degreaser. Um, Dawn actually works the best is what I found. And what it does is it breaks apart the oils of the plant and it washes it down the drain. Um, there's a difference of opinion on if you should use hot water or cold water. Um, hot water actually helps dissipate the grease and get it off of you. But hot water also opens up your pores so it can get inside. So I haven't really found out what's the best way. I just get in the shower and I lather my body from head to toe two or three times with Dawn or any kind of degreasing soap. Um, you need to do that as quick as you can. You also need to get your clothes washed and wash them um, without any other clothes. I usually wash them in really hot water to um, dissipate the grease, uh, break it up, get it down the drain, and, and then I'll actually do an extra load, uh, maybe alone or with bleach or whatever. So I don't want it in, on any other clothes. Uh, poison ivy. Oils can stay active for two years. So if you find a dead poison ivy plant in the woods and you're like, ah, I've seen this for a couple of years, that oil is still active. Or if you use shoes in the woods in a poison ivy and you put them away for two years and you pull them back out and use them, that oil is um, still active. So I know exactly what it in. looks like. It's leaves of three, stay clear of me. Um, so learn what it looks like. It's a little bit jagged edge. It's fuzzy on the bottom. It turns reddish in the fall. Um, I've seen it actually reddish in the spring too. Um, and it likes to be in places where um, it can be left alone. If you're always mowing a ditch down, it's going to it's gonna start dying out. Okay, like I said, um, the first day that I get it, I'm like, okay, where was I four days ago? Or actually before that, I'm like, ooh, this bug bite, it's driving me nuts. The next day, it starts turning into a little yellow blister. And um, I'll show you what it looks like. You know, I've got it. I don't know if you can see that. I've got it on that arm. Um, I've got it on that arm. Not as bad. Um, but you can kind of see, hopefully you can see, there's yellow blisters and they fill with watery. It's not pussy, it's just watery. And you don't want to break the blisters. Um, if you break the blister, <clears throat> germs can get inside and get infected and it gets bad. Um, I know you're scratching yourself at night. I actually have put socks on my hands so that I can't uh, scratch it as well. But you can still break the blisters with socks on your hands. Um, also, it feels really good in a hot shower to... Um, you know, soak that area with a hot shower beating down on it, but that can break the blisters open too, and that's that's damaging, so don't do that. Um, the soon as you know about it, um, go out and get Zanfil. Um, this is the only thing that I've worked, used, and it works really well. Um, I should have used it a few days ago when I noticed that I had it. It's two days later. Um, but th what Zanfil does is it actually washes away the poison ivy. You can do it right away, but this is uh, $45, I think, for one ounce. Um, and so you want to make sure that you uh, use this appropriately. You don't want to just use the whole bottle. Sometimes I use a whole bottle and it takes two or three years to use it up. Um, so I'll show you how to use this. But what it does is it actually penetrates your skin and it actually works the poison ivy oil out. Um, and it gets it away and so it doesn't keep going deeper and deeper and spreading wider and wider. Um, so there's a, a common misconception to poison ivy. Um, 
you know, like I started getting it on this arm and this arm and I was like, you know, it's getting bigger and bigger and I'm like, oh, am I spreading it from my other clothes? Um, when you break the blisters, is that, you know, breaking open and spreading? But it does not spread from person to person. It is not contagious. I've had it all over my body. My wife never gets it. My kids never get it. I held my baby boy, you know, the first day, had it all over my arms. He never got it. It's not contagious from the blister water itself. It's only from the oils of the plant. So if somebody else gets it from you, it's because they got it off of your clothes or whatever tools, that, whatever tools you're using. Um, but if you're like, well, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger every day, what happens is, is I get the most concentration right here. And then if it starts coming over here, it was a little less concentration and took longer for the oil to penetrate the skin. And it shows up later, farther away, but not as aggressive. And this is not very aggressive. I've had it where they're the size of Super Bowls. If you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s, you know what a Super Bowl is. It's a bouncy ball and it looked like I had them. Okay, so know, there are actually instructions leg. on this, but I'll go through it. You're supposed to wet the affected area. You're supposed to, uh, they actually have a, a ruler on here. You're supposed to get at least a half an inch of product um, on there. I don't always use a whole half an inch because like I said, it's 45, after tax is 48 or $49 an ounce. This will last you quite a while. Um, I think there's there's a shelf life to it, but I've used it over and over um, for a couple of years. Um, so then you wet both hands after the half an inch is on your hand, and then you scrub it in. And they say to scrub it in until the itching is gone. That's pulling the poisons out. I don't know how it works, but it pulls the poisons out. And it says if it itches again, maybe a few hours later, do it again and again and again. I usually do it right away. Um, like I said, it's been a couple of days, so I might need to do it now and then I'll have to do it um, maybe later tonight if I have time or tomorrow before work. Okay, so I actually wet, I wet the area, then I wet my hand, then I put, it's actually more than half an inch, I got a little excited about it, I was kind of trying to show you um, what I would have in there so you could see it. Um, you're supposed to put it to both hands, but then it kind of, you kind of waste it on this hand because I can't get that there unless I'm a contortionist or whatever. So I'll just start rubbing it in. But that's what starts doing the um, the working is... Oh, I should have done it earlier because I got those blisters there. Um, but anyways, kind of work through the pain. It says 15 seconds, 30 seconds. It says up to three minutes until the itching subsides. Well, this actually hurts, but I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, it's down in my armpit so that's tender um, it hurts but I'm gonna keep doing it because I know it'll work I can feel the granules I'll have to do this on my other arm um, if you get in places that are too sensitive on your body you're not gonna want to do this I don't know what you're gonna do um, actually, there's also cortisone shots. If you get it too bad, like I had those Super Bowls on my legs, um, the blisters were just sticking out that far off my leg. I actually went to the emergency room, they gave me a cortisone shot. Felt like somebody nailed me with their knuckle as hard as they could. Boy, did that hurt for a while. I couldn't even drive home because that was my gas pedal leg. Uh, so somebody else drove me home. But then that subsided, everything started getting everything working. Um, I waited a week or two and that's when it was really bad. I should have gone in immediately. Also, you can get in I think it's prednisone, but your doctor has to prescribe it. So my doctor didn't even know that poison ivy wasn't contagious. He didn't know how it spread, how it didn't spread. I had to teach him. Now I actually call him and I just say, subscribe or prescribe me a prednisone pill. And I think you take three for three days or something like that. Three, three times a day for three days or whatever. Um, but you can get that too. Otherwise you can do this um, or just wait it out. So it's getting kind of dry. I've done it for quite a while now. Um, actually broke one open, which I'm not happy about. Um, but I'm going to rinse it off and then I'll sign out. Okay, so a recap is, if you know you've been in poison ivy, get home, wash with Dawn soap or degreaser soap. Uh, Dawn is the best, but whatever you have is going to help. Wash, 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 wash. Um, the more the better. Um, if you think you're overwashing, you can't. Um, then get your clothes washed. Wash them alone on hot. Get it out of the house. Um, if you have tools or anything else, get those things washed off. Um, then if you know you have the infected area, you can use Xanfil right away. If you don't know the infected area, it's going to start itching in three, four, five days, depending on how allergic you are. 
Xanfil is what you want to get. I know it's expensive. Even the cheap stuff is expensive. It's 35 bucks after taxes. This is 48 after taxes. Not a big difference. It, it's one ounce and it'll last you a long time. Um, so scrub it in. It's going to hurt. It's going to be irritated, but it's going to help you. So get that done. Um, doctors don't always know what they're talking about when they're talking about poison ivy. It is not contagious. It's the oils from the plants only, not the oils from your blisters. Um, you can get a cortisone shot. You can, if it's really bad, you'll have to get that at the emergency room or a doctor. Uh, you can get a prescription for uh, prednisone. Sometimes you can call it in and act like you know what you're talking about because you will after this video. Tell me you need a prescription for prednisone. You don't need to go and see them. You know what poison ivy is after this video. So I hope you don't get any poison ivy. If you do, uh, watch this video again. Please subscribe to my videos. Uh, look for more of my videos. I've got farming videos, lure hunting videos, metal detecting videos, how-to videos, um, hunting videos. Uh, so please go on there and send me notes. I'll write back to you and we'll go from there. Okay, so just a quick something. recap. I went downstairs for dinner and the arm that I did, uh, the Zan fell on. Actually, I don't even notice it anymore right now. Uh, it'll come back in a few hours. It'll start itching. Uh, the one that I didn't do, is itching like crazy still. So I'm gonna do the Zanfell all over on those. I knew it worked well and I usually have done everything. You know when something hurts or itches and then it doesn't, you forget about it. But when one it doesn't itch or hurt and one does, you notice it. So the Zanfell works.